Hi, I'm Richard Soper from The Appliance Repairman. We're a domestic appliance electrical uh, repairer. Uh, what I'd like to do today is share with you a couple of little things. How to test a wash element, a washing machine element. The same principles for testing this and this, both wash elements for washing machines, will uh, apply to basically dishwashers, cookers, anything with a heater element in it. Okay, so let me get on and uh, just have to set this up a little bit just guide you down to the desk okay right what you'll need is what's called an uh, a multimeter what we need to do with the multimeter is basically set the multimeter up so we're on ohms resistance what we need to do is we need to check for a continuous connection between these two points There we go, we have a continuous connection of about 30 ohms, 28 ohms, 28.1 ohm resistance. Um, just to make sure that, that is uh, quality resistance, yep, yeah, you just what you do is you minus off whatever's uh, the resistance of the leads, which is 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 off of that, so you've got 28 ohms resistance. That is a good element. Right, another little thing, okay. Another thing is you have earth. What you want to do is just check resistance to earth. Make sure there's basically it's open like that. So overload on my meter basically means that it's uh, got a positive connect, got no connection at all, and that's what we're looking for. So that's on the earth or body or this part of it. So it can be the you know any part of the body is typically the is earth. Then you just put that on both connections. See, we're overloaded, overloaded, and if I just touch another part of the body, we should have a connection, a direct connection of one ohm. There we go, if we just put it on there. There we go, see? So if I put it on the other side of this, we should get the same reading, yep. Yeah. Okay, so then you know that that um, has got no connection to Earth. And then we put it back here again across the two terminals. We should get that reading again, like 28, 30 ohms. And that's brilliant. Okay, uh, the next thing is we'll just check this element because this is a little bit of a different configuration. The middle one is always the earth, and we have the two outside ones. We connect those up, and again, we have 24 ohms. On this one, it's actually got what's called a thermistor, which actually replaces the old fashioned thermostats. Uh, it's infinite resistance. Inside, we'll have two little metal um, clips where the little plug goes onto it. What you want to do is you want to connect up to both of these. Check the resistance. Okay, and we've got resistance of 13, point 13 ohms. What we could do next is actually put that into boiling water, and if that fluctuates dramatically, we know that this little baby is still a worker. The other thing that you could check, we'll just put this multimeter away for one minute, turn that off. We pull out this other one that's sitting on the side of the bench. This is what's called a, an insulation tester. What this will do is make sure that once you put this element back into the machine, it's not actually going to trip out. So we stick that onto 500. We stick the crocodile clip onto the body of the machine. And then we direct this end, this probe with a connector on it, to one of the live terminals and we should come up with a reading that is basically 999 no 38 mega ohms the uh, legal requirement for this would be about two if it goes below one it will actually trip out your electricity supply in your house okay and i'll show you what i mean this will trip out see that's tripped so if your element does that then your electricity supply should trip that's called an insulation test. Like I said before, this test, these tests are, uh, are ideal for testing cooker elements, washing machine elements, or dishwasher elements. If you have any um, questions or you need somebody to come and replace one of these for you or do this test for you, give us a call on 0800 44. 
8899 or 01206 434 999. That's me, Richard Soper from the Appliance Repairman, signing off for now.